guys, my name is Kim. Thank you so much for tuning in today. If you're new to my channel, welcome. This is Kim's Beauty Basics. Today I'm gonna to be doing a challenge video, which is a little bit different for me because I've never done one on my channel. So the makeup challenge I'm gonna be doing is the wet brush challenge. So I'm gonna be doing my full face of makeup with wet brushes and you will see all my trials and tribulations. If you end up liking this video, hit that like button. It helps me out so much. If you wanna see more from me, just hit that subscribe button. It's that easy. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. So I've got my warmish water and my towel here to wipe off the brushes. I think we're ready to go. So I've washed my face and washed all my makeup off. First thing I'm gonna do is just prime with some setting spray because that doesn't need a brush. I'm gonna use the Pixie Makeup Fixing Mist, which I just purchased this past week with rose water and green tea and spray this all over my face. I'm gonna prime my face now and I'm gonna be using the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. What I think I'm gonna do is use my foundation brush from Eco Tools. We're gonna dip that into the water here. And just kind of paint it along my face. <laughs> I put the hourglass primer all over my face. It has given me a little bit of a white cast. I'm also gonna use one more primer on my nose area. It's my professional primer from Benefit. So let's just go in with that. And again, we're using that wet brush that we still have. Okay, so we are done priming guys. Let's go on to foundation. I'm gonna do my Maybelline Sleep or Stay foundation today for the face. So let's go in with that. Again, I have the shade 220 Natural Beige. I'll link the video that I reviewed this product on just down below in the description box if you wanna check it out. I have another foundation brush by EcoTools, so I'm gonna be using that. And we're gonna dip it into the water. And now I've just gotta dip this brush into the foundation and pretty much paint this on my face. We'll see how this goes. I use my beauty blender pretty much every day, so it feels really weird to use a brush for application for foundation. Okay guys, foundation is done. I don't know if it's the best application I've ever done. It looks a little weird, but that's okay. We're going on. I decided today to use my Benefit Boing Brightening Concealer. Dipping this and swirling it into the water here, and let's just go right into this. Let's see how this goes. I think that's as good as it's gonna get there. I'm gonna take the tiniest bit, like tiniest bit, and go down the center of my nose. And then blend out with the flat edge a little bit. Next we're gonna go in and contour the face. So what I brought is my, well I don't even know what this is called. It's so old guys. It's just like an old MAC contouring cream shade. I'm gonna go in with this Smashbox contour brush, this mini size, and we're gonna dip that in here and hope for the best. And now we're gonna go in with this contour. So I'm just gonna dip right into this cream contour and try my best to contour and blend this out. Ooh, this is really watery and not blending super great here. Uh, I'm gonna try to contour my nose even though this brush is too big, but we're just gonna try it. And we'll do the jawline as well, cause why not? All right, I think that's our contour today. I'm gonna go in and add bronzer, but instead of doing a powder bronzer, I thought I could cheat a little bit and use uh, this foundation as a bronzer because this is way, it's not my shade, but I've been using it as a bronzer lately, actually. This is the Amuse Cosmetics Matte Foundation in the shade nine, which is clearly not my shade. We're gonna use this Quo little brush. It's kind of soft. Get some foundation on the back of my hand here, and then let's dip this brush right in. Let's just go in, guys, and hope for the very best. Oh! oh I have too much on my cheek. Okay. I'm trying to. Oh, do you see this brush, guys? It's actually like oddly blending, I think. This brush is dyed. On the bright side, we are done our bronzer. Okay, so for blush today, I'm using my Milani Baked Blush. Uh, this is in the shade Bellissimo Bronze, or shade six. We're gonna go in with this MAC brush, which I use for blush on a daily basis. I really like it. I could not tell you what brush it is because it is worn off the handle and I've used it for so many years. Here is the water. Let's dip my beautiful, my beautiful blush brush. <sighs> Let's go in with this blush. I'm hoping because it's a baked blush that this might actually work. Oh my gosh, my hair will not stop sticking to my face. 
Oh dear. It's just like orange pigment on my face. Okay, well, we're not gonna dip in again until we go. Oh, my hair will not stop. Okay. And now I have to blend the side that we just like put orange pigment just on my cheeks. The funny thing is it's not taking off the foundation and it kind of just looks like, I don't know, it looks like a glow, even though I haven't had the highlighter yet. Okay, I need to like dry my face and I look a little bit like an orange raccoon right now. Next we have one of my favorite steps from my makeup routine, highlighter. I'm going with the classic, I'm going with the MAC Soft and Gentle, mainly because it's also a baked formula, so I kind of thought using a wet brush might help. I'm gonna use my Quo highlighter brush. Let's dip it in water. So we're going into the highlighter. Oh, do you guys see how highlighty that is? Like actually, it's kind of amazing. Other than the hair that's stuck to my face and how ugly this brush looks. Let's go in and add more. And then let's go down the nose. Honestly, I'm not mad at the highlight. I think it worked. I wish I could like beauty blend it in a little bit better, but I think that's as good as we're gonna get here. So guys, we're gonna do the eyes now. First palette I'm using is the Smashbox Double Exposure Palette. The reason why I thought of this palette though was because this palette was originally made to be used either dry or wet. So I was thinking hopefully a wet brush with water will work. First, we need a crease color. So what we're gonna do is use our fluffy blending brush to get in that crease and we're gonna dip that right into the water. So we'll just go straight in with a nice warm brown. So let's do that. Let's deepen up that crease with this like warmer ready brown color. Is this gonna be blended up to my eyebrow? Yes, yes it is. Let's go in with a little bit of a smaller brush here to pack a little bit more color onto the lid. Let's dip this brush in, swirl it around a little bit. We're gonna go in with this brown shimmer shade now on the outer part of our lid. go to my ColourPop Golden State of Mind palette now, which I purchased over the Christmas break. It has all shimmer shades in it. We're gonna go in with a dense packing brush right into the water. Let's go right into this shade and pack this on the inner part of the lid. Is that color not so cute? I love this color. I'm gonna go in with more. While we're here, why not add more glitter? I'm gonna go in with my Lise Watier Glam Pigment in the shade Fireworks, which I reviewed on my channel earlier. I'll link it down below because this product is actually amazing. It was part of their holiday collection and if you can still find it, it might be on sale. We're gonna go back in with that same brush we were just using, that packing brush. It is still soaking wet, so don't worry. This shade is really nice and really sparkly. So adding on top of that really light color that we added, I think this is gonna be super nice. I guess I have to go underneath my eye. We'll go back in with that first shade that we used in the Double Exposure Palette by Smashbox. We'll just go in with an angled brush and I'll wet that like always. And we're gonna go in with that underneath the eyelids. We're gonna do a little bit of this brown just on the upper corners just to give a little bit more dimension. All right, so next is brows. I'm gonna use my Benefit Cut Brow in the shade three. We're just gonna go in with a small angled brush by Eco Tools and just dipping that in the water as well. And then just going right into the pot and doing our brows. I don't usually use this brush to do my brows, so it might be a little bit thicker than I'm used to. All right, so I think that's as good as the brows are gonna get today. So yeah. So I'm gonna go do my aligner, mascara, and put on some lashes because maybe that'll just save everything. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back and I did my lipstick as well. A mix of the Stila Stay All Day liquid lipstick and the new Fenty Beauty matte lipstick. So that's what I put on my lips just because I wanted something nude. I don't know if it's because of the shimmer that we used on top, but my eyeshadow looked fairly blended and I was kind of surprised. Also my highlight and bronzer look pretty blended as well and pretty flawless and kind of give this like really dewy look because instead of using powder products we use these cream products and used 
a highlighter with water, it kind of just melted into the skin a little bit better, which I actually really like. One thing I will say though, that the foundation, the Amuse foundation is a little bit ready undertoned, which probably wasn't helped with the orangey bronze blush that we used but overall, I don't mind it. It's not terrible. The foundation doesn't look bad either. It's actually pretty smooth. The only thing I can notice is that without pushing in the primer, I didn't get as much of the pore feeling effect that I normally get on my nose. But overall, I like it. It's not the worst thing ever. So this is the final face. Challenge completed. All right, so we're zoomed back out. I hope you enjoyed the video. I just wanted to do a fun little challenge because I've never done one on my channel. All the makeup products used today will be linked in the description box as well. Have an amazing day or night wherever you are, and I hope to see you very soon in my next video.